Yeah, you're right. I'll turn back on. How are we going to turn the line on over here? I'll turn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that didn't, really, didn't make much difference in either one. The picture at all. Okay. Hello, John. Can you hear us? Turn my sound up so I can hear you. Hello, can you hear us? <coughs> hey, John or Sandy, can you all hear us? Give me an indication. I can't hear you. Can you hear us, Amanda? Apparently so. Hello, Phil. We're on a few minutes early here, and uh, so people can get hooked up. Yeah, that's right. I can't hear you, but I just want to be sure you can hear me, and apparently so. Uh, this is Bob and Susan McClendon coming to you from our living room, and we'll be leading Compline here starting in about two minutes. You want to get me your iPad? And, yes, I want to get this on my iPad so that... My wife, Susan, can write down your prayer request as I come across. Let's see if I can do that. Here we go. Okay. As we did, uh, okay. Good. As we did last week when we led Compline, I'm going to encourage everybody to list their prayer request as they uh, come to your mind. Any time during the, the service here or starting right now, Susan has got a paper and pencil and she's sitting right next to me here and she's going to record them. Hello, Mike Cavanaugh. Uh, <laughs> she's going to record them as they uh, come across and... Uh, when we come time for intercession, we'll be sure that we try to cover all the prayer requests. Hope everyone is doing well with this uh, stay at home life we're living. We snuck out a little while early this morning, left at 7.30 to go to the store. Tom Thumb was very sparsely crowded, so we were able to stay six feet apart. Then we made a mistake and went over to Central Market to pick up a couple of things, and uh, there's no way you can stay six feet apart from there. So if you're going to go shopping at a grocery store, I don't recommend that don't one. Go there. Because it's too crowded and there's aisles are very small. Got that one? Uh -uh. Do we need a name? Description down. Okay, we're getting close. Last week I took you on a uh, quick trip through Compline, uh, the, the Tommy Valenta Compline, I called it. Uh, tonight we're going to go a more kind of mediocre, steady pace and hit some things that we missed last time with the quick trip through. We'll start on page 127 of your Book of Common Prayer. If you did like I did, you can look that up with bcponline.org and click on Daily Office and then click on the Service for Compline and you get the pages, you can print them out and put them in a notebook, which is what I'm using here. It's a little easier to handle. All right, let's begin. Page 127, an order for Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to chime in out there. We can't hear you, but uh, say the responses if you like. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker, the maker of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Let us confess our, confess our sins to God. All together. 
Almighty God, God, our our Heavenly Father, Father, we we have have sinned sinned against you through our own fault, in thought thought and word and and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Turning to page 128. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord, make make haste to help us. us. All together, glory Glory to the the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We are going to go to Psalm 129 from here. I mean, Psalm 31 on page 129. So if you will turn to page 129, we're going to say Psalm 31. And we are going to uh, say this responsively by whole verse. Psalm 31, page 129. And you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. And I want to do one more psalm, the short one on page 131. If you'll turn to page 131. It's psalm 134. Psalm 134 on 131. It's just two verses. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory Glory to to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and will will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We're going to cover a couple of the scriptures here. The first one is the scripture from Jeremiah right under uh, the, the, uh, where we just were, page 131. Jeremiah 14, 9, and 22. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Now then, I would like to turn to page 132, and we're going to read the scripture from 1 Peter. Page 132, second scripture that's listed there from 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9a. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. And I tried to get Susan to sing a hymn, but uh, she wouldn't <laughs> sing a hymn, even though we could at this point. Uh, we sang together on the, when the Sunday morning service, but it's just us, and so you can't hear us, and it works really well. <laughs> then the Father, about the middle of the page there on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say the Lord's Prayer begins uh, at the bottom of page 132. Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. And we're going to go to the fourth collect down. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessings be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, if you will turn to page 134, the third prayer from the top on page 134. 
O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep. And grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now then, time for the intercessions. And I know we had a few of them come in here. I'm going to add one to it. And Susan, I'll let you write it down and you know what it's going to be. That one? Hmm? Oh, you already got it. <laughs> it's for our daughter, Terry Lynn, for healing. She's got a some kind of virus that uh, she went to the doctor today, and the uh, doctor couldn't really diagnose it, tested her for COVID-19. She won't know the results for several days, probably maybe early next week even. Uh, he doesn't think she has it, and she doesn't think she has it. The symptoms she has are not uh, the, the major symptoms that people show, but they're the symptoms that sometimes people show. So I'll ask for your prayers that her diagnosis would come back, that she would not have the COVID-19 and she would heal from the virus she's suffering from. Any other prayers that Nathan, here's one. Here's Nathan. Nathan looking for a job. Oh, sure. I'll write that one down. <clears throat> Rosa the soul of Sue Worth. We've been praying for her. <clears throat> Sue, what's the last name? Worth. Okay. Like Fort Worth. Got it. Okay. Okay, let us pray. Let's just take a, a little time here for a silent prayer. And this, everybody pray their own thoughts, their own needs their own thanksgivings. Lord, we know that you are present in our lives. You tell us that when two or three are gathered together, you will be with us. And even when we gather together, as we have to now, I pray that you would hear the prayers that we lift up to you, the prayers of thanksgiving, of of needs, of intercessions, for healing, and the things that are difficult for us to live with at this point in our lives. We pray for the, the son of a friend of Shannon's for healing. Pray for Michael Curran for healing. Pray for Aunt Brenda. Pray for Terry Lynn, Mc, Terry Lynn Berghart for healing and that she would not have the COVID-19. Pray for Mary the loss of her mother. There's one for Nathan looking pray for a job. Pray for Nathan who's looking for a job. Pray, pray for, for the repose of the soul of Sue Worth. Prayers for the hospital chaplains. We pray prayers for the hospital chaplains and those all those on the front lines. Leaders. And thanksgiving for those who lead us in prayer. Pray for our church and leaders. Oh, prayers for our church and leaders. No kidding. <laughs> you guys are doing an awesome job. Lord, hear our prayer. We're thankful for your presence. We're thankful for your blessings. We're thankful for your protection. And we remain confident and faithful that we will get through this. And coming out on the other side, we will have better feelings for each other, have better feelings for our place on this earth, and have a better understanding of your presence in our lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go now to page, uh, well, we're at the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, sleeping, that awake, that awake we, we may watch, watch with Christ, Christ and, asleep and asleep we may rest, rest in peace. peace. Now you can turn to page 135, the Song of Simeon. Lord, you, you now have set your servant free to go, go in peace as you have promised. promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. And thank you all for joining.
It's a real privilege to be able to lead this service, and we appreciate the opportunity, and we appreciate everybody that joins us. Sweet dreams for everyone. Sleep well. <laughs> stay, stay safe. Stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. <laughs> Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.